Hi, welcome to Ray's Sensation. I'm your host, Dan, and in this episode, we're going to be looking at the book Terror, the horror comic art of Jamie Cortez. So here we are, the Terror, the horror comic art of Jamie Cortez. Um... This is a book put out by uh, the Cororo Press, one of my favorite publishers. Um, they did this series that I've covered on my channel, my YouTube channel here, uh, The Sex and Horror. And this is the first one in the series. Um, they've done five of these so far. You can see the spine there. And these are um, cover art from the Italian comics, The Fumetti. Um, and they're pretty wild. They're, um, they're over the top with sex and violence. I won't show too much of that. I'll get in trouble with, uh, YouTube. Um, but, uh, this, I love that series. This series, however, um, this is a Portuguese, ar um, artist who made his, uh, fame and fortune in Brazil doing comics in the 50s and 60s. He was a great illustrator. He did a lot of illustration work for other places, but for the sake of these two volumes that are going to be in this one, and this is the first volume, um, they're looking at his uh, comic art, and he mostly did uh, horror comics. So, but like I said, this, is, this volume one is predominantly the 50s. Uh, book two is probably going to cover his, the 60s. Um, that would seem the obvious thing to me. Uh, it's got a lot of great, um, it's wonderful art, and wonderful colors and stuff. Um, you know, it, it's got a nice biography of him that covers, uh, you know, you learn a little bit about Brazilian publishing of the time period, uh, especially um, what was going on with the, in the comics that were being published. And uh, you can see, um, this is not all his stuff. This is a, that was just a, a, a talking about the different publishers. This is a piece of his. This is some of the type of artwork he did for the interiors. Great looking stuff. I hear some more of his interior style work. Now, I am not that familiar with this, uh, the um, interior stuff. The, the reason I know him and I was interested in this book is because, on like Facebook and Instagram, there's a lot of people who share his covers um, because the art is so great. So I'm not really that familiar. This, this looks okay. I'm not going to go like, oh, I got to rush out and get a bunch of this stuff. Uh, But uh, as we get along here to the uh, the covers, you can see, I mean, like I said, it's not as wild as those Italian stuff from the the 70s and 80s. But I mean, that's a, <laughs> this kind of reminds me actually of uh, pre-code American horror comics, you know, with the kind of gruesomeness they were getting away with. But I mean, just, uh, that's a great... Look at look at that Frankenstein face on there. Um, you know the great spider work there. These women in distress. <laughs> There's an evil clown for you, with a severed head. Oh, and here's uh, they've got some of the photographs. The he took to work from. I mean, I just love some of these faces and stuff. Like this, this Frankenstein face, this uh, cover is shared a lot uh, if you're in the right groups, you know. And there's, you know, I know there's groups on Reddit and, and what have you where this stuff is probably shared a lot too. But it's great to have it here in this book. And, uh, 
Let me flatten that out a little bit more. Maybe I wouldn't flatten that out enough. I mean, pretty gruesome. That's a great monster there. Weird. There's a cavalcade of monsters. Just some wild stuff. And, um, like I say, this is, this is, um, uh, from the 50s. There, there's going to be a second volume covering the 60s. And quite frankly, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I love the colors in these. I love this, th these throwback monsters. You know, they're this kind of riff on the universal creatures. That looks like uh, Dick Bear's uh, Frankenstein monster because it's such a such a uh, triangular shaped head. Very cool. You know me. Well, you don't. You might not know me. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, but uh, monster art is some of my favorite stuff. I love these colors. And, uh, there, his, his, uh, reference photo, she actually is topless, and, uh, but he had to add that top for the, the actual cover. Um, so I, I think that, uh, you might not find it as wild and woolly and it might not appeal to some of you as much because it, it's not as outlandishly over the top as the, uh, the Italian comic covers. But, uh, as you can see, there's a lot to love here. And, uh, you know, like I said, that, the biography's short but sweet at the beginning of the book. And then just all these great, uh, you know, the, the, I love seeing the reference photos. But but the real joy is these covers. There's the original. The cover itself is wild. Um, so anyway, there's a there's a a look at this book. Um, I would recommend this. Um, for those of you who, I hope, you know, this doesn't have a, a, a series spine on it like the Italian uh, books do. So I don't know, after these two volumes on Cortez, that might be the end of their look at the Brazilian um, horror comics. I hope it's not. There is a lot of good um, comic work, and I love the covers especially. Um, I wish somebody was compiling and translating some of the guts, because even if the artwork isn't as good inside, I'm sure some of the outlandish plot points and and there's gotta be stuff worth reading in there. And I'd like to see more of them. I have some untranslated um, comics from different countries, um, but it's really hit or miss. You know, I'd like somebody who is really familiar with these comics to uh, compile something and uh, put it out there um, even, you know, even if it was just some um, inexpensive print-on-demand kind of thing, I, I'd be very interested to see. And um, and I hope companies like this keep publishing these. Because um, I, I, I think these these uh, cover art books probably do pretty well. Um, and I'd like to see more of them. Anyway, that's all for this time. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. If you have a book that you'd like to recommend for me to check out, um, please let me know. I've gotten some great suggestions from people. I, I haven't done them all on my channel, <laughs> but I have um, found some great books this way. And um, so if you see something here you like and you think there's something I might not know, please put it in the comments. Thanks very much.